Smithsonian researchers in polar regions, along with others, study global warming by boring deep into glacial ice. Many of you are familiar with that and removing a core and looking at one that was laid down over a course of many thousands of years. A really good ice core will take you back 800,000 years, 800,000 years. However, the past million years, which encompasses that period, was actually a time of cooling of our planet's and if you only look at that time frame and you look at what's happening within that time frame, you're only looking at one data set about global warming. But if you look at leaf fossils that look back 55 million years ago, you'll see a different perspective. The Earth at this time, 55 million years ago, was in a 30 million year warm period, warmer than it's been at any time since then. And the Paleocene epoch, as it gave way to the Eocene, Things heated up even more for various reasons, probably having to do with a period of high volcanic eruption. The Earth entered a period of rapid global warming in almost 10,000 years called the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, which lasted over total about 200,000 years. And during that time, the average surface temperature of the Earth rose by 4 to 8 degrees Celsius, and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere reached levels triple that of today. Remember, mammals were small. It was very hot and hard for them to survive. Cold-blooded animals, like snakes, got bigger. And so Smithsonian folks have recently discovered snakes as big as 45 feet and weighing 2,500 pounds. So they do well. Some forms of life do very well when it gets hot. Well, Palm leaf fossils, I'd like to comment. The type, size, and features of these fossilized leaves provide a rough thermometer, if you will, to the temperatures, a rough rain gauge, and so forth. What a bighorn uh, basin plant fossil indicates is that 55 million years ago, during the Paleocene-Eocene maximum therm, is that the equatorial tropics moved north, covering all of the United States. And this particular fossil is something that I'm actually looking at, and it's amazing to open up a rock and see a fossil that's been there for and not been seen for 55 million years ago. The change was so rapid that in terms of a geological clock, it was like going to bed in my home state of Georgia and waking up the next morning in southern Mexico. As global warming's become an increasing concern for our long-term future, the Smithsonian's collection of leaf fossils in the Paleo-Eocene Thermal Maximum are an important research for us, resource for us to understand the future. <clears throat> 